I've recently had a lot of cases where customers are trying to use the Enterprise PDM Vault for tracking time. And uh, one of the top reasons for tracking time is to be able to do claims for SRED funding for tax credits. The way I accomplish this in the Enterprise PDM Vault is to first of all have a time log folder in all of the projects. So whenever a project gets generated, there's automatically a time log folder that anybody who's working on the project has access to. At the end of a workday, or numerous times throughout, a user can just right-click in the background, go to New, and go to their time log template. What that will do is launch a, a form that can be filled out very easily with instructions that correspond with typical SRED claims. We'll notice that as I'm filling this in, there's going to be commentary that gets added underneath my comments, depending on what categorization of time that I have. This can be very helpful to ensure that users are entering the right type of information and make sure that the tax claim goes through flawlessly. We'll also notice that we have a shred applicable comment because there is of course engineering time which does not have these comments, in which case we can change it from yes to no. So essentially, if we do have some answers to these questions, we should toggle this to yes, if not go to no. And we do see feedback as we go on whether or not it should be selected. And then we do have, of course, have a link to our partner, Techcentiv, Tech who has been helping us generate claims for our customers and making sure that they go through successfully. I filled out the form with a few data points related to how engineering data collection and analysis was done to solve a temper or a problem related to temperature. I've put them all to shred applicable because all of them have some of these questions answered. And of course, there were some unknowns depending on what materials I selected. After selecting OK, Enterprise PDM will automatically produce a file for each time log and will produce an entry in the database. All of that information can be stored or can be reviewed under the data card. And each time entry is automatically assigned the project name, number, the user who applied the time, as well as today's date. All of this information can be easily reported on using a time log search form. So now that the entries are all in the database, we can easily filter all of the different time logs between multiple users, as well as for certain projects. Let's, for instance, look at all the shred applicable timing between the date range of November. So from November 1st to November 30th, select search, and the entries that I entered appear. From there, we can easily categorize them if we want to filter down by a certain category. Or what we can do is take all of the data and be able to quickly generate a report hitting the Excel button. Within Excel, a chart or table can be easily created just by taking the data and selecting the category, the time that's logged against that category, and then some quick manipulation of data to ensure that we're getting the right information such as sum. In this case, it's adding up all the hours that are spent on engineering, data collection, and analysis within the month of November that is applicable for shred funding. Great information to have on hand, especially when, you inc when you're multiplying all of the different users in an engineering group. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at the email that's on your screen. Have a good day.